Hi everyone, welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Today I'm going to share with you how I made these elegant rhinestone pumpkins using items purchased from dollar stores. I think this is one of my favorite DIYs so far that I have done. I think these turned out just so lovely and everything just sparkles. It's just so beautiful for fall for decorating. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made these, let's get started with the supplies that I used. A narrow pumpkin, a round pumpkin, a sheet of rhinestone stickers, some packets of glitter, some white paint, some Mod Podge, a foam brush, a paper plate in a little cup, a pair of scissors, as well as a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. So let's first get started with the little mini pumpkins. These ones I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I have one kind of taller narrow one and then one shorter round one. And the first thing you're going to do is pull off these stems and they do kind of have like a little anchor to the stems. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut those off because you really don't need those when you're going to be gluing them back on at the end of the project. And then this next part you're going to take some white paint. This one I purchased from um, Walmart a while back and I figured I would use it because I had on hand. Um, it's just kind of like a plain white um, paint. It has like almost a little bit of a gloss finish to it. But you're just going to take your foam brush and you are going to begin to paint your pumpkins. Now just as a tip, if I would have had white spray paint on hand, um, I probably would have used that instead. It would have made this process a lot faster and um, I probably would have had to paint an, as many layers as I did. Um, so that's just a tip, but I figured um, with the white paint I would give it a try. Um, and it did, it turned out really lovely at the end, you'll see. Um, it just took a while for all the coats of paint to dry. <laughs> so um, here I am just painting the first coat of paint onto my little orange pumpkins. Or even if I would have had a primer too, that probably would have been helpful too. But now you live and you learn. <laughs> so I'm um, just going ahead here now and putting on the second coat of my white paint on the pumpkins. You can see the first coat really didn't cover much of the orange and I really wanted a good amount of coverage on these so um, it did take a few layers. Just covering those, all the little orange pieces you see, you just want to go ahead and fill those in. And then um, here I am, I believe this is the third coat. Um, you can still see through some of that paint to cover the orange, so I'm just going ahead and applying um, the paint to all those areas, specifically the ones that I could still see through the most. And then moving on, I believe this is the fourth coat of paint. <laughs> There's five paint, paint coats total, but I did want to show you guys all of them just so you can see um, the level of transparency through each coat of paint. So. This is just finishing up the fourth coat of paint and then I am moving on to the fifth coat of paint. And this is just kind of like the finishing touch coat of paint, making sure everything's nice and smooth, everything's covered. I am quite a perfectionist when it comes to my craft so I really wanted to just make sure everything was nice and covered and um, smooth I guess. When, when I'm doing the lines there you can just kind of see I'm smoothing out the paint. So then your pumpkins are finished and then um, just I have a package of glitter. This I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to go ahead and pick out um, three packets of the glitter that I wanted to use. I didn't want it to be like a bright gold. You can see here I um, kind of pass up the really gold one as well as the orange and the brown. But I decided to take those three packets of gold that were my favorite and you don't get a whole lot in the pack and I wanted to be sure that I had enough to cover my stems so I'm just going ahead and putting those into a little plastic little bowl there and then I'm going to mix them all together. So I'm just cutting those open and then adding them all to one and then you'll see I'll just kind of give it a little bit of shake and then kind of created my own glitter color there. Then just on um, just a plain paper plate, um, you're just going to pour a little bit of your Mod Podge. That's this little bottle I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just pouring a little bit onto my paper plate. And then I'm going to take my little stems again and my foam brush and just kind of start painting the stems with the Mod Podge. There's different kinds of Mod Podge. It really doesn't matter which one you use. Um, 
you're going to be covering them with glitter anyway, so you're just going to go ahead and paint those onto your stems. Make sure that they have a good amount of coverage on there to hold the glitter. And just going ahead and finishing up painting those. And then you're going to go ahead and just lay them flat on your plate and then take your glitter and just kind of sprinkle them over the stems. And then you're just going to make sure those kind of have a good amount of coverage of glitter. Okay, so now let's get back to finishing up the little pumpkins now that the white paint's all dry. Uh, you're going to take your rhinestone sticker sheet. This I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And it has a really good amount of rhinestones and they're actually already connected in a line. And that line is just the right amount for covering these pumpkins. It worked out so perfectly. So what I'm doing is I am deciding to put it in every little um, crease. I'm not putting the rhinestones on the sides of the pumpkin that actually um, are elevated. I'm putting them in those little cracks in between each other. So I have decided that I would skip um, one in between each row of rhinestones. Uh, if you wanted your pumpkins to have more sparkle to them, you could go ahead and put one row on each one. But for me, it was just kind of my preference to do every other one. So that narrow pumpkin is now finished and rhinestone covered. And then you're going to go ahead and take your little pumpkin and you're going to go ahead and lay those um, rhinestones in, along the same kind of creases. I chose to skip um, one as well in between each layer. And then this one is actually going to have a little bit more rhinestones because it's a little more round, uh, so it, there was more room for them. Um, I probably could have skipped every other one, but... I still like the way that it kind of turned out so very very cute and then you're just going to take your hot glue gun once that's done and just put a dot of hot glue back to where you're going to be replacing the stem and you're just going to go ahead and stick it right on there and then kind of hold it in place for a minute while the hot glue dries And then you're going to repeat the same process with your other little pumpkin. You're just going to put a little dot of hot glue and then take your little co glitter covered stem and put it right back on top. And then you are all done with these really, really cute, sparkly, elegant rhinestone pumpkins. I just love these so much, you guys. They are so, so stinking cute. And the rhinestones fit perfectly. Um, just the size and the length. Everything was so perfect for this project. So I just love these so much. And um, in my next DIY, you'll see I'm going to make some little stands for these as well. But I just really, really love these. They're so cute. So here is the before and the after. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.